Assalamualaikum and good day. So today we will look at subtopic 5.1 area under the curve. So we will learn all the techniques that you learn in chapter 4 in order to calculate the area under the curve based on the evaluation of the integral. So this is the lesson outcome. At the end of this session, students should be able to sketch the curve for the given function, use a definite integral in order to find the area under the curve. Okay. So here, um, the integral or the integrand function Okay, here is your integrand. When we evaluate the integrand from the lower limit to upper limit, we actually find the area under the curve. So this integrand is given by this curve. So this curve can be any function, either linear function, quadratic function, okay, means that polynomial, or rational function, or maybe trigger or exponent, okay? Then finding the um, integral from A to B is actually you find the area under the curve. So if this is my integral, then I have a lower limit from A to B here. And then I actually find this area here. Okay, I put as R here means the region. Okay. And it's bounded uh, until the X exists here. So definition area, if Fx is a continuous on the interval A, B, given by upper and also lower limit here, then the area of a region between the curve Y equal to Fx and the x axis from A to B is given by evaluating this integral. Okay. For example, let's say you ask to find the area bounded by the line, okay, straight line, y equal to negative x plus 10. For x between 0 to 6 and also x exists. So remember how to sketch this straight line. Okay, so you have negative slope here and then you have a shifted 10 above the x axis. So it will give you this straight line. Eh? Okay, here you have this straight line. Okay. And then we want to find the area between 0 and 6. And it's also bounded by this x axis. So 0 to 6 means 0 is your lower limit. And 6 is your upper limit. Means that if I shed it, so this is the region that we want to calculate the area. So how to find this area? So we use this formula, okay? So the area is given by integrate from 0 to 6 of your fx respect to x. Okay, then this is just a simple integral. So integrate this, you will have negative x squared over 2 plus 10x. And then you are given the limit, means that definite integral, so from 0 to 6. And then if you solve this, you should get 42. But since uh, we refer to area, then we put the a unit here as unit square here. Because area is something uh, power 2. Okay. So actually, we have two uh, situations on finding the area 
of the function by using the integral. So if you want to find the area and the area is above your x axis, okay, above your x axis, so you will use this formula. So a equal to integrate from a to b of your fx dx. So a is your lower limit here. Okay, and then b is your upper limit here. So this is your region. Eh? If you ask to find the area below the x-axis, Okay. So below the x axis actually we will have negative area. But since we talk about area, we cannot have negative value. So in order to uh, positive that negative area, so you must to put the absolute sign yeah? absolute sign will give our area in positive value so if you ask to find the area below the x axis so you must to use this formula okay where you put the absolute sign together when you want to evaluate your function okay let's look at this example Find the area bounded by the curve. So this is your curve. Y equal to x square. So this is parabola. And the x axis between x equal to 0 to 3. So you can either straight away uh, find the area. But it's good to sketch first. So that it will give you the... Um, visual uh, how the area should be uh, which area or the region that you want to calculate okay so this is x square means that you have this parabola okay very simple and then it's uh, bounded by this x square and also x axis okay so this is your x axis And then you ask to calculate from 0 to 3. So 0 is your lower limit here. And then up to 3 as your upper limit here. So it means that you must to find this region eh, below the graph. So this is your x square. So below the graph until the x axis here. So the area only from 0 to 3. So we use uh, the previous formula. Okay, which is um, A equal to integrate from A to B of your function with respect to X. Okay, so your F X is X square. And then lower limit 0 to 3 with respect to the X. Okay, very straightforward. So you should get X cubed over 3. And then from 0 to 3, plug in your upper limit. And then minus with your lower limit. Then you should get 9 unit square. Okay. Okay, next example. You ask to find the area bounded by the lines. Okay, so you have given here a several information. So the first line is y equal to 2 minus x this is the first line and then x equal to 3 and x equal to 4 and also the x axis so we have uh, four information here okay so let's sketch first in order to give you the uh, visualization about the region that we need to Calculate. Okay. So y equal to x is this eh? because uh, you have a negative slope here, negative x. 
So you should have in this uh, negative flow of your straight line. And then you shift to on the right. Okay. You shift to on the right. So you should have intersect here when at zero. So y equal to two here. Okay. So this is your first line. Okay. Y equal to two minus x. And then, which is our area? So area is from x equal to 3. So we have this x equal to 3. Until x equal to 4 up to here. And then also bonded also by the x axis here. Okay. So your region is in this one okay in this one so actually if i sketch again your graph it should be something like this okay you want from three to four three to four for this graph your region is actually here Okay, here under the graph. Okay, but you want your region to be bonded by x also, so it means that you must to have this part here. Okay, this part and the everything here, and then. If you minus with your below graph here, then you will have this as your region. Okay. So simply say we actually find the graph below the x-axis. So remember the formula. We must to put the absolute sign here. Okay, so you want to find the integral from 3 to 4 for your function um, straight line here. Okay, but this is below the x-axis. So from 3 to 4, so this is below the x-axis, so we put the absolute sign here. Okay, remember to have this absolute sign. So integrate 2 minus x with respect to x, so you should have 2x minus x squared over 4. Sorry, x squared over 2. And then from 3 to 4. Okay. Remember, we have the absolute sign here. And then substitute the upper limit first. And then minus with the lower limit here. So you should have this. However, since we have the absolute sign here, so you should have negative 3 over 2 and then open the absolute sign. We give you positive 3 over 2 uh, unit square here. Okay. Second alternative. Okay, if I can show with you uh, the other alternative, so it's actually okay, so this is your x axis. And then we want from 3 to 4. So here is 3, so here is 4. Um, if I look at this region, okay, the area under the x axis from 3 to 4 actually, this is my area. I have everything here. Everything here is my area, okay, under the x axis. And then if I calculate the 
if I refer to the area under this curve from 3 to 4 actually I refer to this region everything below here but since we only want the area which is bounded from the straight line 3 x equal to 4 okay and also x at this so I only looking for this area I only looking for this area okay this is should be my R so how to calculate this R actually so second alternative okay We can calculate from 3 to 4. So what is my y here? x x exists, y equal to 0. So I should do minus 0, okay? Everything from here to below, okay? This is y equal to 0. So 0 minus all the area given by this function here so minus 2 minus x respect to x means that i want to integrate from 3 to 4 negative 2 plus x dx so i should have here negative 2x plus x square over 2 from 3 to 4 so negative 2 times is 4 plus 4 square over 2 and then minus negative 2 times is 3 plus 3 square over 2 so here I should have negative 8 plus 8 minus minus 6 plus 9 over 2 so everything here is 0 so i have negative negative 6 plus 9 over 2 is a negative 12 plus 9 so negative 3 over 2 so i should have 3 over 2 unit square so this is another alternative if you omit the uh, absolute sign, so actually this is the idea on how we find this region. Okay.